Welcome to Adobe Photoshop, the brush tool, the eraser tool, and fill. Let's begin by creating a new document. File, New, and then we have a range of options here, but let's just take the default Photoshop size. Always we title our documents, so we'll call this one Brush. And we see it's uh, 7 inches wide, 5 inches high, and a resolution of 72 inches. Okay, that's fine, but it's a little small, isn't it? Let's click here, pull it out, and make it as big as we can. And to get it to fill the screen, we'll put one finger on control and touch the plus key. So zoom in, control plus, and zoom smaller, control minus. Bigger plus, smaller minus. It somehow seems logical and easy to remember. So let's select our brush tool and one way we can do that is just click on the brush tool or if we were in another tool, we could press the B key. Take the brush tool and then left click and draw. But we want to draw a house. That's far too big, isn't it? So let's undo that. Edit. Undo brush tool. Control Z. And let's choose a different size brush. Right now it's 149, far too big. Let's pull it down to 41. Oh, a little smaller, right there. So if we're gonna draw a house, now that doesn't look good either, does it? It's too blurry, it's not sharp. So let's come back up here step backward control alt z and i'll just press on my keyboard control alt z control alt z control alt z you can say that's undo 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 step backward control alt control z or control alt z so our brush was too blurry so let's go back up here and change the hardness, the hardness. And now look, it's completely hard. And if we don't want hard, we can go back to 0% hardness and look at that. But we want a hard brush. So we'll pull it up like that and there we go. But this color is no good, is it? Who ever heard of a red house? Let's get a color that we like more. So come down here and click the foreground color, which is also the brush color. And we want a nice, what color brush do we want? Oh, what about a blue, a light blue right there. You can see it. There's the old, here's the new and click OK. Now when we draw with a brush, we've got a blue. Well, we could just draw our house right here, couldn't we? And let's go down a little bit and give ourselves a nice little door. Okay, so there's our house, but what about all of this? Let's erase it. To choose the eraser, you can just press E on your computer. But look, it's erasing far too much, isn't it? So look, and the eraser size is 200. So let's undo the eraser, Control Z, and get a smaller eraser. Oh. That's about right, isn't it? There we go. 
And let's just look for a minute. The edge of the eraser is quite hard. Let's see what happens when we change the hardness. It's just like the brush, isn't it? You change the hardness and you change the border of the brush. So here we have a big soft border of our eraser tool. And let's get back up to 100%. And now the border is quite hard. So then we can erase, 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 erase. And there we have it. Understanding the brush, the eraser tool, and choosing the foreground color, which in this case ends up being our brush color. So with that in mind, practice it yourself until you understand it, and then we'll go on to creating our first drawing with layers.